if you're tired of the same old background and want to spice things up a little without spending a dime, you are in the right place. Trust me, this is a game changer for your content. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Dami. I'm a YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the background of your videos using three free apps. Let's jump right in. Before we get started, make sure you have these three apps installed. Leonardo AI, Canva and CapCut. Open the CapCut app. If you look at the top of the screen, you will see text to image. Tap on it and it takes you to this page. You can see that the app has already generated four images. If you like any of them, you can save. If you don't, you can tap regenerate for more options. Or you can tap modify and type whatever background you want the app to generate. Let me edit what we have here. Ultra realistic, a luxurious dining area. I'll change that to living room. So the text says ultra realistic living room area, a modern white marble heaven with wide angle view. I end modern luxury. Then I'll tap generate. I'll wait for the app to do the magic. The app has generated four pictures. If you don't like any of the pictures, you can regenerate for more options or just type something else in this box. I like this one, so I'll tap on it and save. Next, I'll open the Canva app. I'm going to use this app to adjust the image I saved on CapCut to fit the YouTube format or ratio. In this box, type YouTube thumbnail. It takes you to this page where you see different formats for your thumbnail. Tap create blank. To import the image, tap this plus sign. Tap camera roll and select the image. Tap add to page. You can drag the image to fit or you swipe left till you see more. Tap more. Swipe to the left till you see set image as background and tap on it. You can also add filter to the image. Tap filters. There are different filters here. You can tap on each till you find the one that suits your image. Double tap to reduce the intensity. Once you're satisfied with the result, tap here to download the image. Now open the CapCut app, click new project, import the image you just saved, tap overlay, import the video you want to change the background. The video will appear here. Swipe left till you find remove BG which means remove background. Tap auto removal and CapCut will remove the background of your video. Adjust the image till you are satisfied. I used a short video for this tutorial to save time. After adjusting the image, this is what we have. To spice it up, I'm going to blur the background. To do that, tap effects. Tap video effects. The different effects in CapCut. Search for blur. Tap the first one. Double tap to adjust till you're satisfied. You can also filter your videos in CapCut. Tap filters. There are different filters here. You can tap any one you like and adjust the intensity. I don't like to filter my videos. Instead, I'll tap adjust. I'll tap shadow. You can increase or reduce the shadow. I'll reduce mine a little. Then tap temperature and reduce the warmth of the video. Next, I'll tap sharpen to sharpen the video. And this is what we have. Once you're satisfied with the results, hit the export button. CapCut will process your video and you're ready to share. Another way you can edit your background is to open the CapCut app. Tap new project. Tap stock videos. 
there are lots of options here different backgrounds different green screen just take your time and explore the app once you've seen the one you like tap add then you tap overlay you import your video remove the background just like we did before and adjust the image you also need to blur the background to make it more real adjust shadow adjust temperature and sharpen the image when you are satisfied export the video and this is what we have i also tried other ones just play around and get familiar with the app another way you can change your background is by using the leonardo ai app go to app store and install leonardo ai open the app tap get started if it's your first time using leonardo ai tap here to sign up if you already have an account enter your email and your password to log in or just tap google sign in and it takes you to this page tap on create new image on this app you use coins to generate images you have 150 coins daily if you want more coins you have to upgrade your account and that means you have to pay to upgrade to generate an image you type a prompt here the prompt simply means anything you want to see in the background you want to generate so i'll ask the app to generate a visually appealing black wall that has a good gb light with a bookshelf and flowers you can see here that i need 20 coins to generate this background tap generate and wait for the app to get to work you can see that it has generated four images if you don't like any you regenerate or you type another prompt but i think i like this one so i'll save this image if you can't install the app go to google and type leonardo ai click on this and you see the option to create an account it's very easy to use after saving the image edit in canva then you edit and adjust in CapCut, and this is the final result. To make your video more real, please make sure that you don't have too many things going on in your background. You can film in front of a wall, you can film in front of a curtain, but just make sure that you don't have too many things hanging around in your background. And please, for the ladies, you have to pack your hair, you have to make your hair look very, very flat. If you use a hair that is too full, it's going to create like a line and make it look really fake, just like it's doing now. And please, when you want to use the fake background for your video, you want to try and minimize your movement because if you are moving too much and you know you're raising your hands or moving your body or turning your head too much it's going to look very fake feel free to get creative and experiment with different backgrounds to elevate your video content if you found this tutorial helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe for more content and please hit the notification bell to stay updated thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video